Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how can we create dynamically components uh, using arrays in React. So let's get started. First of all, I'm opening git bash in uh, where do you want to create your project and write this command npx create react app and give your project name. Press enter. If you see this happy hacking uh, output, your project is ready to use. Now uh, I have to uh, open this folder cd dynamic component, and now we are inside this uh, folder and I want to open this project in uh, visual code visual studio code sorry if you want to run this project you have to write npm start and your project is started first of all I'm opening a JS file this is our main file and these are unuseless for now we will create our uh, component remove this class name and create a new folder give components name now i will create one more folder uh, it will be experience item I will list my experiences in this example. Create experience item JSX file and create experience item CSS file. Uh, you can ask what is the difference between a JSX and JS files. Uh, in JSX files, you are writing uh, HTML codes inside the JavaScript. So uh, you don't have to write JSX extension, but uh, if you are using uh, HTML inside this JavaScript, uh, it's better to use JSX extension. So now I will create a component using snippets. You can download the snippets from here. React snips just search in these extensions, install it, then you can use the snippets. So now I will import our CSS file. Import experience item CSS. Of course, uh, we don't have anything in our website, so I will call this component to here experience item and we can see our component now. Uh, I will edit this component, I will add some. Uh, Parents for text, it will be our uh, company name, and one more span for title.
add some more spans this is for job description and this for start date this for end date and now I will write some CSS class name experience item root play flex flex direction column and give a background color some padding and border radius and give with value 80% I want to take this uh, company name title and I will put this inside the new div and create one more CSS class and give some padding and I can set font size Font weight will be eight hundred. Uh, it's too much. It's okay. And job description, start date, end date. I will put this start date, end date to another div inside another div. Copy this, past, change name, and change the other values. Uh, give some gap. And put the spins side. Okay. By the way, uh, in, in for now, uh, our values is not dynamically, just hard coded. We have to get these values from properties. So now I'm creating props values, and I will get these values from inside the props. Cause company name and date and inside props experience and change this hard coded text to the or variables you have to put this brackets because we will use javascript uh, 
variable this gsx also right company name title job description start date and end date now we have no value so we can't see anything in here but uh, I will create a new folder assets folder and I will create one more JavaScript file it will be our experiences you have to export this uh, JavaScript file function ex uh, sorry JavaScript uh, array export const experiences this is our array and I will put this values to the here by the way uh, this is github copilot copilot helps to me how many things uh, I will put these values from here we have to write same names these are joke <laughs> of course I'm not uh, working at Google but maybe many years later why not <laughs> and now I will create uh, one more component uh, by the way no uh, I don't create I will create component in here so I have to import this uh, experience file from asset experiences and you have to put these brackets uh, because this variable and now I will write uh, one more JSX code you have to put these brackets experiences map this map function returns uh, new items from array and uh, we will give this experience and index values to our map and <laughs> github copilot helps me too much experience map experience and index you have to Put this index to the key and we will pass this experience item to the uh, our experience item component as a uh, this variable name and now why we are getting the errors hmm. Okay, I will write this manually. Uh, sometimes it's giving error, it's making wrong. Tab copilot experience index, and we have to return. Bam! Now it works. And I have to give some margin, uh, margin fifty percent, fifty pixels. Okay. And this is bonus at our uh, event make transform scale one to one 
make cursor pointer and transition all and you can see thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe my channel goodbye